Hey, welcome to the channel. What I'm going to be doing today is showing you exactly how you can upgrade your wiper motor, that great old big ugly one, under the hood of your Chevrolet old school classic to a nice, modern, small, compact size that will fit perfectly into place. It's going to look good when you got your hood open at shows. And also, you can run an electric sprayer for your windshield washer nozzle, and it'll look a lot more cleaner than that great old big bulky one that GM puts on there. And it's going to be the exact same motor that they use on that upgraded kit. Uh, I'm using one off a of ford explorer it's the exact same motor that you get for the kit let's go ahead and dive right in and i'll show you exactly how to do it on your car okay so this is one off of a ford explorer you've got you've got a ground for your high speed and your low speed intermediate you got several different speeds for the wipers so all we need is is a three speed on this right here so i went ahead and cut these so i can use this harness it is a nice little motor it's a lot smaller um, and this right here is going to look a whole lot better when you pop the hood under that hood So we're going to be using this small wiper motor on that Chevelle We're going to be making a mounting bracket and we're going to be hooking this up to a 69 Chevelle Okay, this is in comparison here the Chevelle OEM wiper motor versus the Ford mini wiper motor Of course you can see once this is moved exactly where that is how much of a difference you have in size and everything. The Ford is a lot stronger than this older style GM. The way that the motors are made, it can put a lot more torque out to the rod. Now looking at it right here, you have your round rod and your slant, your little grooves on each side. Your Ford is exactly the same way. Of course, this one's turned, but this one uses a screw here to go directly into it to hold this here on versus the Chevrolet uses a nut. So this right here and this right here is pretty much nearly exactly the right. Now this way here is right, it's perfect. It's just this. This is a little bit more narrow. So looking at this right here is the easiest way to show you. This is off of the Ford. So sitting right here on the GM, it fits perfectly up and down, but you have a little play. So all I'll have to do is just run a little bitty file on the inside of the GM bracket, and it'll slide right down on top of the Ford, and I can put my bolt on there, and that'll be perfect. So no issues there. Now this here, these three bolts, is what takes this plate off. And of course, this right here, the GM one, you can see it's got humongous area right there for those boats. So no more big massive, we're gonna be going to that. This one right here is gonna look a lot better under your hood than this big old ugly thing. I'm not gonna be using any of this water crap. No sense in putting a bunch of antifreeze, salt junk all over your window and on your paint and then just rot it out. Everybody wonders why you're cows rotten well that's because your windshield sprayers all this antifreeze style windshield washing fluids going down in there and sitting and rotting all your crap out it's not just from weather all that crappy fluid so we ain't gonna be running no reservoir tank none of that sprayers so that's why we're going to eliminate all this old school junk right here throw that away and we'll be running it here's what we're working on getting all the wiring straightened out on the car right now so this will be going right in there, basically just like that. So I'll probably try to mount it up somewhere where it looks pretty nice and even, something like that. So when you open the hood, it looks pretty under there. Because we want everything to look good on this car. Good, nice, and show worthy. So now, I'm going to take his plate off. Okay, now we're going to show you the only wires you need, there's low and high. I have the black, those two black are both ground. So right here. There you got low speed. Low speed is gonna be the white one and high speed is gonna be the blue with the stripes. So low speed and high speed. So those are the only two you're gonna need there for the power and then there's your two grounds which your grounds you can just take them just put a, a loop on it and then run it directly over and then put it onto your boat so your grounds that's what we're going to be doing i'm going to be running the ground 
right over here to the boat, to the firewall. And then I'm gonna have my low speed and high speed right here for the wiper motors. The rest of them, I'm gonna pull the pins out of this so that they're not gonna be showing. So here we're looking at our plug. These three wires here, these can be eliminated and these three we will save. Okay, there we have it. So that's what your plug will look like right there. Those are the only wires you're gonna be needing. Low speed, high speed, ground. Okay, now I have both the motors out and I can line this one up right here with the bolt hose where it lines up there. And it is the exact same. It was lined up. They're the exact same distance from where this mounts to the plate to where this mounts to the plate here. So from where that is to the end of this and where that is to the end of that, these are exactly the same. So there's no issue with right here where my throw is. I'm gonna make a plate that fits this inside curve right here and covers over these since we're not gonna be utilizing those and fits inside this right here perfectly to flush with the firewall. And then I will make the bolt hole right there, there, and there. So I'll make all of them right there, utilize their one, their one, their one, their one, and fit nice and flush. And then I'll be able to bolt the new one up here and put it on. So I can use a piece of aluminum here if I want to and polish it chrome. So that when you're looking under the hood, that will be polished chrome. And get rid of this really ugly piece of trash here. I made this little template here out of a piece of paper. So it will fit right there on the inside. Where that right there goes in that little lip. So I will make this out of a piece of aluminum and I will polish it with the polisher to match all the chrome under the hood so that whenever I mount this right here with some stainless steel bolts, this will be polished stainless or aluminum, either one. I'm gonna see which one I'm gonna pick up over at uh, the steel company, but that's what we're gonna be making that out of, either aluminum or stainless. Okay, I've cut out this little plate here out of some aluminum and it will go right over that right there, right into place and screw in and then I'll clean this up, water sand it and polish that. And then we're gonna be putting the Ford wiper motor on there. Okay, now I need to make this right here. I don't need as large of a hole because I just need this right here to stick through. So I used a different style bit here and found my center. And I can stick that over there, get my little hose lined up there and all along there. And you can see it's dead center there. So this can go right there onto that and be centered up just like that. So now I know this is where it needs to be. So let me send this around here. With this flipped over, this like that, it will mount. I just gotta find where exactly what angle I need to put it. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this on the car and show you exactly where I'm gonna make my pieces here for these three bolts here. Okay, here you sit mounted on the car. I have my Allen set style screws. So there you have it sitting there real nice. So we'll give you a look when you open the hood, you have all the chrome and you'll see that right there, which will look real nice. And look on the inside, inside that hole, just like that. So I can put this any direction I want so I may put it this way right here. Okay, I think that looks pretty good just like that with it angled just like the firewalls angled. So I think that right there is where I'm gonna put it, just like so. Okay, here are the holes that I've made. So this right here, I can flip this up, this, and mount, mount, right just like that using the factory screws that originally bolted it to the Explorer. Here we have it on the car. You can see where I angled it. I angled it up like that so that it matches the firewall and you can see more of the, the stainless there. So open the hood. It's gonna be a lot nicer than that great old big bulky one. Plus, it sits real close to the firewall. 
So I'll just have my wires run into some mass tubing like this right here and head down real close to the firewall where you won't be able to see none of the wires. So there it is right there on the outside, what it looks like. And there's what it looks like on the inside. So you can take these covers right here at any time if you ever need to replace the motor. One of these Ford motors right here, it's gonna run you about 50 bucks for a brand new one versus 250 for the original one. And then I'll put my little piece right here, my bracket up there. Once I file the edges so that it fits perfectly on this shaft on this Ford style. So that's it. You can pop this out at any time, take off them three bolts, pull that motor directly off, and there it is, that's what you got. So that's gonna be it for upgrading the 69 Chevelle power windshield wiper motor to a nice Ford Motor Company wiper motor. Looks a whole lot better.